Hi, Lucy. It's lovely uh, to meet you. I wished it could have been in person, um, but we're grateful for technology and Zoom, and we can have, actually have you speak at our conference, which is great. So I would just wonder, uh, just for a couple of minutes, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself. I always find um, all these things really interesting. I would always ask Stuart when he came back from uh, speaking anywhere. So who are they? Who are they married to? How many children have they got? And of course, he never thought to ask that. Um, so I'm going to ask you now, so we can just get a little bit of background on you and just on uh, what must be an incredible journey to, to do what you're doing now. Oh, thanks, Irene. And um, hi to both of you. And thank you so much for inviting me to come and speak at your conference. It's a real privilege and um, I've been looking forward to it. Um, so yes, I live in Bristol. I'm married to Nick Crawley. He's ordained in the Anglican Church. And so we've led churches together for about 30 years. We have um, small, a, a group of small community churches of mainly young people actually, which is wonderful and we love that. Um, we have four grown up sons and three daughters-in-law and uh, another daughter-in-law coming into the family in July. So that's really exciting. And I've been the principal of WTC for about um, nine years, eight years actually, the principal, but I've been working here for about 10 or 11 years. And I actually started studying theology a bit later in my life, in my 30s and 40s, finished my PhD in my 40s and didn't really know what I was going to do with it, but then found myself in a position at WTC where they needed someone to come in and, um, and help. And then I ended up being the principal, which is a very long story and a really, it's a really fun God story. But, um, but yeah, I, so I've been doing this job for a number of years and I absolutely love it. And it's a real privilege to do it. Great. Well, you've mentioned WTC. What does that stand for? And perhaps tell us a little bit about, you know, uh, how uh, people gathered today can kind of access the things that you're doing. It stands for Westminster Theological Centre. So we are a theological college um, that is set up in uh, through a hub system. So it's, we offer all part-time degrees and diplomas. We do a bachelor's degree in kingdom theology, a master's degree in kingdom theology, a certificate and a graduate diploma. And then on top of that, we do a graduate diploma in student ministry and another one in church planting and leadership. So we have a number of kind of general theological degrees that people can do um, to deepen their faith, to find out more about the Bible and Christian history and Christian doctrine. And then we have the two vocational degrees, which we're really excited about. One's in partnership with Fusion, um, the student ministry one, obviously. And then the other is the church planting and leadership. Great. Well, it's kind of designed, I think, for churches like ours, because um, sometimes historically churches like ours were viewed as well they're practitioners they get on with the job but they're not always well trained theologically and so on but I think it's your heart isn't it to connect with um, with churches like our own mm -hmm. and um, we're basically uh, charismatic perhaps Pentecostal background type of churches the majority of our network are are independent or interdependent because relationships are very important. But um, it feels to me as though the things that you're offering could be really helpful for people from our network. Mm. Well, I hope so. It's very much designed for churches like yours. And what, what we um, do is that we offer theological training and education for people who are very busy and who want to stay where they are so it's not like you don't have to kind of go away to college and what I realized and many years ago when I took over was that we have a huge number of churches in this country that are not denominational they don't belong to any denomination they're actually really exciting places they have anointed leaders they're growing they're into church planting um, but they didn't really have a theological home that's what I saw and um, I believe that God was asking us to provide that kind of theological home for those kind of churches 
And as we've grown and as I've got to know people, I've also realized that actually they do, they were looking for somewhere where they could do theology, but and university level theology, but perhaps in with a different culture and a different ethos, where we also um, invite the work of the Holy Spirit into uh, what we do, and we also expect God to move as um, as we teach, which is really exciting, and it's a great way to teach theology. That's really exciting. So, what are you going to share with our conference? The subject of your your talk. I'm doing a talk on yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Um, so I wanted to take that very well known phrase, which I'm sure we've repeated over and over and over again, and just look into that in a bit more detail about when we say that to God, what are we saying, what does it mean, and what does it mean about how we think of God and how we think of ourselves and how we think of the church. So that's the kind of things I'm going to be exploring together. Excellent. Thank you. And last word from yes. you, I think. Yes, Aaron. thank you for agreeing to be with us. And uh, I really hope some of the people who are desiring to know more will look into uh, the different packages that you can offer. I do know of one or two who have been uh, thinking about that. So hopefully they'll be inspired too. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. God bless.